Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yo, hello there. Hi John. It gets better. Hello, it's time you're still in the Nishti. Barbara Jagger drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? Barbara's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Nauseous, hung over, only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. 
but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. Rose took a Barbara day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. But I know she's right. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. You're right. I deserve more money. Nice. She's worked with another writer. So handsome. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. You're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway.
This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Oh, Patty. See the lights at the radio station in the distance. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without blood. There was no power to the searchlight. fix it and try again.
took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Şimdi soruşuyor kişi. Ne istiyor sen? Sen bu oyun balaca da Afrika'dan al. Sen neyin aradın? Well, it's just up the road
I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Nightingale, we got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Yes, there is lunch. I saw the letter. George wrote that. George wrote that. Yes, sensible reason for the power of the world to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to lose.
Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I don't want you, Alan, and it's not you. It's not me. Looking out from behind your eyes. No. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Hello? The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Everything in its path. It should. I hoped I could find a car from there. Hey, hold on.
Yeah. Ağalı olma ama kışkırmasın. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Come <laughs> on. 
never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger. A lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but... I'm just so peeved. I'm looking for that. Ow! I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.
I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I didn't want to go outside. The cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Quick! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? The big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine you can't miss it. There's a lookout for it. I'll be sweet. I'm through being jerked around by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Hayır, <gülüyor> 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 Babamıza gelen o vampir kim adam vardı? Onlar açık açıktan korkurlar. Böyle sese de böyle bir kimse yoldan çıkartıyorlar. Oo, ne böyle sınavlar? Köpeği köşkü, kullandı mı? Şimdi seyir atışlar, bırak abi. var. Ne 
gelenlere düşüyor sen. Hele tağıt mı yine orada biraz Zehra? <Gülüyor> Zehra, sen ne kadar adam olmuşsun? Getir kobra onu. Getir kobra onu. Deli salçer de da. Kışkırma yalanlar.
side ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution.
There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Sen gel burada bəsli Kulsan sesin gelsin bir de gözle. Sen ne çıkacağım? Da otur. Cevap kaytan da otur sen. Hüseyin az danış Az danış deyirəm
I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Buradan artık koyucu ekleyip sıkıp çatıracağım. Bunlar niye kudurdu göre sen? I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk.
The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? The graveyard shift may cause cancer. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had oh. been for decades, maybe a century.
I needed a key for the door. Outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of Lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up.
have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Yo. Dedim yok da eşitiren her şeyi. Kulağım açıktı gör müsün? Yok ben görmüyorum ben çorak. Huu kız dur da
See Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I'm here! I'm coming!
Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. I don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's so okay, Alan. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me.